If you think you can be smarter than God, I'm sorry. You can never be smarter than God. Many people, after they heal, they only come because they want to be healed. They only come because they want to prophesy. No one want to go to God again. But any little thing happen, they want to go to God. After that, they run. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. So I just want to talk about Destiny Hunters. Destiny Hunters. Destiny Hunters are the people that make you to complain every day. If you look at Genesis chapter number 3. Take your Bible. Genesis chapter number 3. Genesis chapter 3 verse 9. Yeah. And the Lord God called unto Adam, mm -hmm. Adam mm -hmm. and said unto him, mm -hmm. Where art thou? And he said. Do, do you hear that? And God called unto Adam and asked him, Where are you? And what did Adam say? I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You are going to take it down to verse number 11. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Do, do you hear that? He had the voice of God. When God created Adam, he kept him in a garden. He said, but there is a fruit at the center of the garden. Do not eat it. That's an instruction. After you are healing here, you are instructed to take the rafa oil, the salt. You go home, begin to anoint yourself every day. Begin to live a righteous life, a holy life. Live anger. Forgive those that offend you. Because as long as you are alive, people have to offend you because you're offending people every day. People have to offend you. You forgive those that offend you. You stop, you talk less about people's offense. You begin to practice love. Who told thee that thou wast naked? Mm -hmm. Has thou eaten of the, of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. Mm -hmm. And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me was me. He was complaining. He complained to God. And at the first God said, This one you must not eat. You can eat all the fruits here, but this one you must never eat. And then the woman come, Satan come and say, Hey, forget whatever God is saying. Just eat it so that you can be wise you can be wise like him. You will know what he know. Like me, I'm also wise. Eat it. Then she ate. Immediately she ate, she looked at herself. At least if you have a wife and your wife prepare a nice dish, prepare something, do you ask before you eat? Men, do you ask sometimes? Most of the times you don't ask. You just grab, wash your hand instantly, begin to, Adam eats. You look at himself, he saw that he's naked. He said, what? So I've been naked walking in the street. Huh? Then he went and covered himself. And that's what brought suffering to us today. Disobedience. Disobedience. Yes? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is it that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And did the Lord that? God no, said, No, it's okay, it's okay. So, you know, from that day, God never gave anybody a wife. You know that? God never gave anybody a woman. From that day after that incident, God never gave anybody. Who is married here? Are you married? Where's your wife? She's sitting there. Who gave it to you? I, I chose it by myself. You chose by yourself? Yes. Okay, sit down. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> sit down. Thank you. She chooses, she chooses herself. From that day, God said, no, whoever find out a woman, find out a good thing. So he said, go and find your own so that you stop blaming me. I'm the one who gave you. 
Yes, that's what happened. You must stop blaming me that I'm the one who gave you. Huh? What your face God has committed? He gave instruction. You come here, get healed, take the rafa oil, take the uh, uh, rafa salt, use it because salt and uh, oil have no enemy. For you to stop the enemy fighting you, please take this. The Bible said, touch not my mind, anointed and do my prophet no harm. He said, touch not, and you, you are touching. After you touch, who, do, who tell you to touch? It's yourself you have to blame. You have to blame yourself. In 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, it said, if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves. Can you read it? 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Mm. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Do, do you hear that? If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face and forget their sin, I will do what? Then will I hear from heaven mm -hmm. and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. I will forgive their sin. And I will heal their land. Then go down, go down to verse 15. Verse 15. Now mine eyes shall be open, and mine eyes attend to unto the prayer. Now prayer. shall my eyes be open, and my ears attentive to your prayers, your petition. Uh -huh. And mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. It's not when you have offended. Touch not, you go and touch. Huh? Come, get healed, sit down. You get healed, you run away. What is that man saying? I say, invite Mr. Poverty. Invite the spirit of poverty to come that is in your family. Invite that power that is killing you to come. Listen, you know when you are coming here, they stop at the gate. They stop down there. They can't even come here. They're waiting for you. Don't you see the sister that left here one day after church, after her deliverance, she left, she was going. No oil, no nothing. She got to that corner. They were waiting for her. They chained her. The leg seized. She couldn't walk again. She fell down. Stopped vomiting. They had to go and carry her from there and come back to the church. And when she came back, I said, who are you? What happened? She said, no, the leg locked. She couldn't walk. Then during the deliverance, the demon said, yes, you deliver her. She was very stubborn. She doesn't know I was waiting for her there. As soon as she come out, I enter. And I have to flog her because of what she have done. That's why I lock the feet. Is that not so? Yes. That was when I said, okay, now leave her alone. Go. Never again will you stand at that, at that place to wait for her. And that was how she became free. This is a dangerous place. Tell your neighbor. So after you are healing, don't stop talking. Stop saying, oh, as soon as you are living here. You know, I don't like the way that man dressed today. <laughs> Why must he put a flower on the <laughs> on the suit? So it is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It is well with you. It is well with you. You see how they complain? It was Adam who went and ate. And God have already given instruction, don't touch. Many people, after they heal, they only come because they want to be healed. They only come because they want to prophesy. No one wants to go to God again. But any little thing happens, they want to go to God. After that, they run. Read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26, down to 27. Paul knows what he said. There are two spirits here. And you must try to be very careful. Hmm? You and I were one. What is the difference between Paul and Apollos? They are one. One water. One plant and one waters. And God is the one that gives it increase. It is God that does everything. So if you think you can be smarter than God, I'm sorry. You can never be smarter than God. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 26. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. Do you hear that? I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. I am running, but not as uncertainly. Not like you. Yes? 
So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Uh -huh. You understand that? Who beat the air? He who beat the air is like a wave. It's like air, which the wind is taking its direction. Yes, go ahead. But I keep under my body mm -hmm. and bring it to subjection, mm -hmm. lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a should cast, be cast away. away. After I preach to you, I should be cast away. So what I tell you to practice is what I'm doing. I cannot go out any day without using rough anointing oil to anoint myself. I cannot do that because I will endanger my life. God has given instruction, use rafa oil every day. When I'm sick, you think I don't get sick? You think I don't have a headache sometimes like you? When I feel headache, I take rafa oil, I put it in the warm water. I say, Father, I thank you because oil and water have no enemy. I drink it, I touch my head, headache will go. If, for instance, you are driving a car, isn't it? How many of you drive here? You have your license, isn't it? Before you drive a car, you must have a driver's license. Eh? Now, when you take your driver's license and you are driving, I mean, you carry your driver's license you keep at home, and you are driving, brrr, and uh, a metro officer, a police officer, stop you, park. You park. First thing, he comes and salutes you. Good morning, sir. Your license, please. He said, oh, no, I have driver's license, but I keep it at home. I have driver's license, but I keep it at home. He would, he would if you, you do like this, he check the particulars first. He come back to you. He said, can I have your driver's license? No, I have it. I kept it at home. He will grab his firearm first. Say, come down from the car. <laughs> he will start shifting back. Come down from the car. Lie down on the ground. Lift your hands up. Put it behind you. He's holding the firearm. Put your hands behind you, sir. He will still call you, sir. If you're a woman, say, madam. Put your hands behind you. Then he's holding the firearm with one hand. He used one hand to remove his, uh, what? What do you call it? Handcuff. He handcuff you. Put you in their own car. He will now radio them to come and take your own car. Isn't it? He will not just issue you a ticket, isn't it? Unless if God is with you that day, then he issue you a ticket, maybe a thousand rand or two thousand rand or ten thousand for driving without driver's uh, license. And if he put you inside, you go to court, what would they charge you for? Driving without driver's license, isn't it? Would you condemn the policeman for doing his job? No. If you condemn him, the law will give you another jail sentence. Or there is a speed limit of 60, and you are making 90, and they stop you. Where would you find yourself? Sun City. In fact, if they take you to Sun City, you are even lucky. Yes. So ignorance of an offense is not an excuse. Now, if now the government can treat you that way, what about how much more did God have created you that give you life? Every minute you're accusing God. I have gone to that church. I have done this. I have done that. What have I benefited? Do you need to benefit? One thing you have benefited is a free air. If that air is seized for one second, where are you going to be? So ask yourself a question. You are blaming the prophet, that stupid man. You're blaming the pastors. Why did they talk to me like that? You know that man, he's preaching about me in the church. Who know you? You don't even exist. No one know you. Hello? No one know you in the church. Say so the way they talk to me. Hi, that church. Or people pray in that church should close. Church should not go forward. Eh? That the man of God must die. Everybody must die. And you, you are living a life and you are praying for somebody to die. The only one that has to die is Satan himself that is responsible for what you are going through. <clears throat> Satan is our common enemy. So let us have a change of heart. Come to God the way you are. 
Be patient with him and let him do his work on you. And after he has done his work, remain patient with him because he will surely see you through. If God can deliver somebody whose leg is broken, what about you that you're feeling pain? Won't he deliver you? You are feeling pain on the leg and there's another one whose bone on the leg is broken. I see here the one that the bone was broken. You that feeling pain, he will equally heal you. But when you now said, why must that man's leg was broken and it was healed? Me, I'm feeling pain. God cannot heal me. What has God done to me? You off your phone. You block. Why you don't go to church? No, they're talking about me in the church. Listen, we haven't even started talking about you. The day I look at Rafa TV, I see your face. I will talk about you. Yes. The day I look at the Rafa TV, I see your face. I will talk about you. Because the person we don't talk about is a dead person. Hallelujah. Some people will come, they tell them, no, sir, don't sit in the front. Go and sit there. They'll go to offense and go. Say, so why must they tell them not to sit in the front? Or you dress with a shirt. A shirt. You know, when a woman dresses with a shirt, there are some tempters. Oh. You, you don't know. There's some tempters. Huh? You know, can I, let me tell you. There's something you don't know. Do you know Mamed? You know, have you heard about Mamed? Have you heard about Mamed? Do you know Mamed will dress like a woman, dress nice with a short pant? Eh? A short pant and come to church also, sit down. You don't know? Uh -uh. <laughs> you don't know. I'm telling you. That's the truth. So if you think everybody sitting down here is the same, we're not the same. Oh. Look at your neighbor. That's the truth. That's the truth. Hallelujah. It is well with you. Have we changed? Say we thank God. Because today, we have changed. Stand on your feet. Say, Father, I thank you. I give you praise for all that you have done for me. From today, I will not complain. Whatever happened, I will give you things. In Jesus Christ's name. Say, O oh Lord, I worship you. From today, I will glorify you. In good time and in bad time. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. It is well with you. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397 plus 278 4 4 4 7 0 0 2 0 1 1 4 9 3 0 5 3 1 God bless you.